Yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV and you are watching Show Us Your Cat. Yes, hello, it is Joe for Joyrider TV here. And yes, it is currently raining in Vasiliki. Whatever next. This has been a week of fairly non-champagne sailing conditions. We have had a group here to do some sailing and unfortunately the conditions have been a little bit less than ideal. Other big news this week was of course the capsize writing pole um, epic journey that I've taken. It's taken ever such a long time to install, test and find out that it doesn't work. So the Mark III is on its way, which is going to be more of a walking the plank style of capsized writing pole rather than the hang off so that the whole body weight gets further from the boat rather than I think with the the pole if your feet are still on the hull it doesn't make any difference yeah so exciting times with the writing pole and this journey but what this whole writing pole journey has proven is that the bag does work and the bag is all that you need um, maybe a bigger bag for some people if you're a bit lighter maybe a bigger bag but um, the bag does work but anyway right now it's time for show us your cat where we're going to take a little journey around the world having a look at your boats and where it is that you sail them so let's dive straight in and have a look at what we're looking at in this week's show us your cat on Joyrider TV. Woohoo! Okay, so this week we're starting off by heading to the USA to Lake Erie, near to the town of Sandusky. We have got Bert, who has recently got hold of a 1982 Hobie 18 classic. Bert bought the boat so that he can give the boat a full restoration. Uh, here is Bert with the dismantling process. He's taking the mast from the boat. Once he's got the balance point, easy. Then getting to work on the rudder assembly, taking off the connecting bar. Then removing the rudders. We can see the rudder stocks of slightly different style there to the modern Hobies. and taking the boat off the trailer, making light work of that. Okay, so next removing the trampoline, we can really see the state of the boat that Bert's got to work with here. Taking the boat apart completely is also a really great way of finding out what little jobs do need doing on the boat. So if you are getting hold of an older boat for a restoration, then taking it off completely is a good idea. Now we can see that Bert has removed the Dolphin Striker, which personally I wouldn't have gone for that. But again, it does mean that uh, Bert can carry out a more full inspection. But it's some very good technique taking the boat apart solo. Great job there. When Bert got hold of the boat, he found the hulls were watertight with no signs of delamination. That's a great start, but there were various bits of damage to the hulls. He's found everything that he needs to recondition the boat. He's even sourced a new trampoline and new sails, or more recent, He's going to update the mast step, the rudder gudgeons, and all of the standing and running rigging. Now, when Bert got the boat, there was damage to the mast, but fortunately, he's managed to find a comp tip aluminium mast, picked it up for just $250. How do you get your mast there? Check out Bert's technique. This trailer, perhaps a little bit over the top for a mast, but certainly does the job. 
The boat trailer is also having a total restoration job, but is definitely keen on doing a proper job. And here we can see where much of the work is gonna take place in Bert's shop, where we can see he's also restoring this 1983 Cal 27 cruising boat. So we wish you the best of luck with that restoration project, Bert, and we're really looking forward to seeing the results when she's done. Next, we are going to Australia, to Melbourne, to Frankston Yacht Club, where we have Kyle. Kyle has got a 2008 C2 from Goodall Design. What an absolute beauty. Kyle's only 16, and you may say, hold on, 16's a bit young to be having your own C2. He shares it with his dad. I um, his dad's the skipper at this time. The boat's called Baruch Jr. And I think, as you'll agree, she is an absolute stunner. Kyle is the crew, his dad is the skipper, but he's looking at skippering later on this season. And he'll be the skipper in the worlds and nationals later on. He races on Saturdays and trains on Thursdays. He started off by sailing optimists and the step up to an F-18 from an optimist, as you can imagine, has been quite a learning curve, but he is absolutely loving it. We can see the boat has got this almost brand new Windrush Edge deck sweeper mainsail, which gives extra stiffness and performance. She's had a complete recondition, including these fantastic graphics on here. They've fitted the double skin deck sweeper trampoline and all of the ropes and shock cord systems have been replaced. Now check out, if, if you've got a keen eye like me, you'll see this absolutely incredible main sheet system. This is the GP Cataran ceramic main sheet system from Harken. It's a 12 to one and possibly, if you want a 12 to one, this is probably the best that you can get at this time. So thanks very much there, Kyle, for sending, in us, sending us those pictures of your absolutely fantastic looking C2. We hope you have some great sailing and that you get a good result in the nationals. Next, it's time to check in with our roving reporter, Jeff from Gear Report. What have you got for us today, Jeff? Hey Joe, this week I'd like to take you to Oak Hollow Sailing Club in the U.S. state of North Carolina for something a bit different. You've arrived. Mark was kind enough to invite me to check out his Weta. If anyone feels the urge, now is your chance to tell me in the comments that a Weta is not a catamaran. So what? It's still cool. Hi, my name is Mark Kritzer. I'm out here at Ocala Lake in High Point, North Carolina. Today I'm going to be sailing the Weta Trimaran. The winds are pretty light, uh, probably around uh, 6 to 8 miles per hour, a little gust of about 12. Um, so we're doing this for uh, Joyrider TV and Show Us Your Cat. But today we're going to be showing us your uh, Trimaran. And we've got uh, two Trimarans out on the water and two Catamarans. You promised me 18 to 20. Mark's little beast is only 14 feet 5 inches long, that's 4.4 meters for you metric types, and an impressive 11 and a half feet or 3.5 meters wide. When on the trailer it collapses down to only 1.7 meters wide, the holes are fiberglass and the weight is kept down by judicious use of carbon fiber in the beam frame, mast, rudder and centerboard. It even has a self-tacking jib, and they have sails available in pin top and square top for different wind strengths. I'm quite sad to report that Mark and I were too heavy for the Weta, so Evan from the Sea Scouts got the honor of joyriding with Mark when I went out with Mike on the Hobie getaway. It looked like an absolute blast, and Evan definitely said he enjoyed darting around the lake with Mark. 
Thanks to Ocalo Sailing Club and Mark for inviting me and to the Ocalo Marina rescue boat for towing me back to the sailing club later that day. But that's a story I'm not quite ready to tell. But we're going to save that for another episode. Joe, have you ever been out on a wetter? No, I've never sailed a wetter trimaran. This is what wetter are claiming with this trimaran. It has incredible stability, high performance with speeds up to 20 knots. It's incredibly versatile. You can sail solo or with maybe even three people on board. It's lightweight yet robust, compact for storage. No hiking involved if you don't want to. You can rig and launch it by yourself in 20 minutes and it's capsize resistant and easy to recover. Now that's what they said on the website. Yeah, so there we go. Thanks to Jeff, to Kyle and to Bert for sending us those pictures. And of course to Mark for um, inviting Jeff to come and have a sail on that trimaran. Uh, what a great opportunity all round there. Um, and just do be sure to check out Jeff's website, gearreport.com, where he's doing a lot of reviews on a lot of things and um, worth having a look. So what else is coming up? Well, not a great deal um, too soon because we are closed now here at Wild Wind and the champagne sailing conditions have pretty much dried up, but we will see. My new schedule is gonna be Wednesday afternoons, question and answer from the boat park as we have been doing. And then uh, Sundays, show us your cat as always. And then if I can, I'll be making one other video um, per week. These are the facilities I've got available now. One Hobie 16. This is Hobie 16 number six. She's a 2014 boat. She features a big wheel launching trolley and she's capable of going extremely fast. Those are the facilities. But um, also ongoing is the speed stick, of course. I think you all know what that's about. Or if you want to be featured in uh, Show Us Your Cat in a future episode, check out in the description below for the details of what you need to do and just send me some video, photographs and some details about your boat and we can take it from there. So thanks very much, thanks for watching, thanks to everybody who has been supporting the channel um, in the many ways. Thanks to everybody who's bought something from totaljoyrider.com, especially in the last couple of days since I mentioned it on Wednesday. Very nice, well done, well in. So we'll be back next week for more Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Until then, um, if you have got the opportunity to get out there and give it the beans, then give it the beans, but stay safe. Thank you very much.